mamo na hoi i ke ia kuleana a luli ke hoi kakou lau lima o oku paa a e oni paa na oe aku hoi kakou i mua a e kulia hoi kakou i kanu i hoi ka hoi hoi i a mai kamana o oku kakou aina ma luna no hoi oku kakou aina o ke ia au puni no ho hewa nei ke au puni malalo o ke au puni pekelalo o amerika Lako ka hewa, lako a paoloa, no ko lako koho ana, e ki peku aku i ko kako ohana, mai ko lako aina aku. No leila mako i hele mei ei, ke la no ke kumu nui, no ko mako hele mai. Mahalo. I just wanted to share with all of you. I worked here some times ago, and one of the things that I enjoyed was all of the families that was here, and they're still here, um, that they are united. One thing I'm sure of is that um, you, cannot, you cannot do anything if you're not united together. We might fight in the background, but when we come up front, we have to be together as one. Just like Auntie was saying, we have to gather together. We need to get, bring our children, our neighbors, uncles, aunties. Tomorrow is going to be an important time for, for Kahana. Once and for all, they're going to see that Kahana is united. And they have families that have been here for eons, for years. You are probably the fifth, sixth generation from people that worked here, that lived here. And they were here when they, they started to get the lease. And I know that um, Senator He is going to try his best to do what he needs to do in the legislature. So it is more than, than what we see. We need to get together as people. We can fight in our background, but when we come together, we come together as one. We need to bring our kupunas. There's Auntie Beatrice, Auntie May Ao, there's Auntie Lani, and to Punani and to Danet. We need all our kupunas that are here, that are alive. We have many that have gone on. Now it, is, now it is their turn. We have to get them to come out. I just want to tell you that you need to stick together. We got to fight the fight. And I just wanted you to know that when Anigan and Lena called, it was such an honor for me to come back. I just want you folks to know that we're here. We're here to support. We're not here to tell you folks what to do, but we know that the support comes not only from the Ko'olalo area, but it comes from Ko'olapoko, and on the other side, the Wainai and Nanakuli side. It's good to see our all here too. And you know, the Hawaiians are gonna hear about this, and they're gonna come, and they're gonna come, and we need to let them know what we're fighting for. Just like Auntie say, you cannot move. Torin, you have to stay. Okay, so thank you everybody. I hope that everybody have this thing of we need to be united. We need to lokahi. We need to come together. Thank you and again and Lena for all you guys' efforts. They needed to do what they needed to do. And good afternoon everyone. Thank you for gathering today and for sharing your mana'o with us as well. You know, when I called Ikaika Hussey this morning, or actually last night, to ask him what we might do in East Honolulu to support the efforts and to support the concerns of your families. He told me, just show up. 
just come, listen, talk. And as I've been listening and as I see your faces here, one of the things that strikes me is that this issue here of finding pono with regards to what the law says and what is what the families are living and what we want for Hawaii is part of a larger conversation that we need to have in Hawaii. I was on the phone this morning with Mali Sh Representative Shimabukuro from Waianae. She is the chairman of the House uh, Committee on Human Services. She stands firmly with us today, with you, with me, with our colleagues in the House, in our commitment to explore this issue and take it to the committees, take it to the conversation that needs to happen. Immediately at the moment, however, what we believe needs to occur is to request from the governor a stay of eviction, which will immediately, which will actually allow the governor to be a hero if she chooses. And in this particular time, if we can stand together it, with compassion and aloha and conviction, perhaps that she will see right to make this injunction and at least allow us, you all to be here and allow us to work on your behalf behind the scenes when the legislature starts in January. In the meantime, I think there's much that can be done. I think if you can join also with my families in Kulio'o, which are your families, with the families on other sides of the island. You know, when I was growing up in the Kamiki side, I never thought that Koho'olawe would ever be free. I thought that was always going to be a bunch of activists uh, making noise against the Navy. But now in our lifetime, we've seen that Koho'olawe, the dream of freeing Koho'olawe to be herself and to be the beacon of hope for Hawaii has indeed come true. So I believe that this situation here, though it is uncomfortable and unconscionable for some families, actually is the tip of the iceberg of what we need to be talking about in our state for all of our families. It is not okay that one single child goes hungry, goes homeless. It is not okay that families are struggling so hard just to keep above water. So I commit to you on behalf of my colleagues that we will definitely take this issue and if Senator He has introduced something in the past, we will certainly revisit it with him and um, allow the House to um, reveal, I guess, what the, the incongruencies and the inconsistencies are. So thank you very much for being here. And those of you who are not part of Kahana Valley, please know that you, you are. And once we have come together under a tent, under the skies of Keokua, we are all one. So thank you very much for being here. Malama Pono and um, courage. Thank you.